got close to five minutes of Kim Iverson cropped out. Can go another round two, round three. Gonna do another Ben Crosby to This one clearly shows Kimberly Iverson, whatever her real name, whoever she is. No one knows who she, these people are. She's reading script. It's supposed to be a Zoom meeting. They flash their arms to distract. It's quite idiotic. So they're going sideways with their head and their eyes. And they're violent with their arms to distract one from seeing that they're going right to left, left to right reading. Kim was already captured on film. Scripted. Then I found the white tele tablet teleprompter on fault lines. First I saw that they're drug they are drug addicts. Then I noticed that they're scripted. I first noticed all this with H.A. Uh, Goodman. I was able to tie together all these backwater channels, all the to even more pot the more popular, such as this woman. She just went sideways. Uh, Joe Rogan, not just Joe Rogan though. I mean, not just Jimmy Dore, but Joe Rogan, Jane Uger. Tim Pool, they're all COINTELPRO. That's why no one cares. They use fake stats. They have robots voting in. They pay. They pay these places to give them all the information, all the data. I don't know why they have to do that though when they have the NSA they seem to have total access to everything anyway but the Snowden documents showed the collusion it never got addressed she's clearly reading a script it's pretty bizarre take any show she's a drug addict you look at her face that's what it shows no one talks sideways in real life. All that right there is fake. All of that is her exposing herself. The lower corner picture shows the strain, how her face is deteriorating. Fiorella is doing these disgusting tongue juts. She can't help it anymore. Like Poinkinen can't stop his face going up and down. Fiorella can't maintain control of her tongue. It's jutting out. That's what was going on with Graham Elwood. And Jimmy Dora's tongue juts. Nasty tongue juts. Nasty. So all these losers are exposed. They control the algorithm, you put them on mute, and you slow it down, and you see exactly that they're effing with you. They have nothing to do with anything. This is all fake. It's an entrapment scam. I've been through all this. And on that note, I'll keep rolling some of this crap, and I'm Putting together uh, Ben Crosby. The name of the song is Swinging on a Star. It's the next day. I'm on coffee and orange juice. I can't believe how nice orange juice is. I can't believe how people get so into their ego that they can't just 
appreciate the orange juice. Sorry to get over dramatic in regards to orange juice or coffee, but it's the truth. Truth is truth. I've been listening to the Bing Crosby song over and over again. I hope that will help. But then again, it doesn't matter. Mistakes don't matter. Intent matters. My motive has simply been to apply all those years of education to exposing Internet COINTELPRO. Life did not go exactly how I expected it from a personal point of view due to autism, anxiety, and attention deficit. Now those are all unofficial diagnoses, but sometimes you just know in your gut from the tip of your nose what is reality. The thing with the scripts, with them being scripted, it's the same thing as when I noticed the independent media from back in the day was lying about Brett Camberlin. Once I found out that it was the same Brett Camberlin that I had seen on TV, the one who claimed to have sold pot to Bush, yeah, I'm that old. I knew I wasn't going to shut up till the thing he got attention. I have basically brought Internet COINTELPRO into a TikTok, TikTok situation. The longer so called time TikToks, the more society is deconditioned or has that opportunity. The more people who recognize idiotic eyes and heads going sideways. This is what's called. Did I finish that sentence? No. Am I going to? No. You know what I meant. So, the more. It becomes common sense knowledge that no one talks sideways. The more that is recognized, the more. Why did my voice? Voice, stay put. I'm talking right. You're just the observer. I'm the observed. Oh, wait, I'm the observer. I'm distracting myself. That's what it's all about, the attention deficit thing, I think. One distracts themselves. Them? Why, did they, why is one called them? So I'm distracting. Everything has meaning. Everything can be picked at. Everything can be stretched, analyzed, thought. Then you don't remember what the, what's going on. What is the point of this? Why? The point is that I needed audio. I need stuff to run in the background. So when I'm running the video stuff that I did take a lot of time to put together, not too much time, after a while, things don't take any time at all. After a while, one realizes that Time doesn't exist. Because think about it. None of us get out of here alive talking about the specific incarnation. There can only be one incarnation at a time. We're not sure if we're a little slice of God for a little part of the whole that we're immortal, I meant. We seem to be immortal. But it seems that we're only immortal in a silent way. Don't pin down the breathing. Don't try to pin down the soul. That's probably what I'm trying to say. So the mind is the elusive beyond the eye, beyond the conditioning. The mind is the constant that never changes. It can only be obscured. It can only get demented, can only get lost, it can only get hidden. So we're going to die. Mike Tyson is not alone in that fact. So if we're going to die, what's the point of learning? 
The point is to learn beyond what is perceived as learning. I'll leave it at that. So there's a constant for the sake of brevity. It's called the mind because it implies more than brain, more than body, or a synthesis of both brain and body. Now the brain, the brain is material, it's not permanent. The argument or the theory is that the mind is permanent beyond the mortal brain and body. That's the question. That is the number one meaning of life question. A lot of us get sidetracked. They're pulling us in to fake shows, fake social movements. I'm grateful that they only seem to hire junkies to be COINTELPRO disinfo shells. That makes it obvious. Makes it easy to see. No matter how much the sick biatchas try to pin down social structure, the more anarchy naturally flourishes. I think that once wisdom is gained through the mind, then it does carry on into future lives. That's why suicide is not going to help anyone. That's why getting up each day and following the conditioning as if today will be the day it will make sense. It will never make sense because the people in control of medium are lost nut jobs. For lack of a better word, they are nut jobs. They deserve no respect, no toleration, no anything. These are the people who were slave owners, or these were the people who were the bad guys in Rome. These were the people this who killed off the Neanderthals. It wasn't an asteroid or something. Uh, or they, uh, I think they were killed off. Like, why would the Neanderthals die off, but humans didn't? And why are Neanderthals called Neanderthals when they're clearly, why is human... So human gets the connotation of being the good guy. Maybe the Neanderthals were the good guy, good gal. Maybe the dinosaurs got smeared and they were actually just big, lovable bear types. Okay, let's, uh, that seems to be enough to be able to slice and dice, mop and chop. Or no, chop and mop. Mop and chop? What the I am malfunctioning. I must blow my nose. I'm sounding very nasally. Okay, here we go. This is called... Oh, that was... My subconscious... My subconscious wanted to share some Ronald Reagan. Or was that Johnny Carson? Or was that Jonathan Winters? <laughs> so anyway... In conclusion... Here is... Bing Crosby. Now, there's going to be, uh, before I start, uh, I have to think this thing through. I have to brainwash myself quite a bit, listen to it over and over again. So it becomes like uh, the social security number. We, don't, we never forget that somehow. So I try to do that with the tunes. Everything is the same. Everything has an equality to it, and in that respect, there is freedom. When we differentiate, when we categorize, when we place, when we analyze, we're being brainful. Is that a word? I think I've said enough. I'm, I'm going to now uh, segue shift over to the Bing Crosby song. There are background singers I'm going to try to duplicate. There's a little instrumental crap going on, too. But I also mill things in. It's like the two ideas are tugging at one another, perhaps similar to attention deficit and autism. They can kind of tug apart from one another. There's also things about those two disorders that they actually promote the other one. So there's a lot going on. 
the main thing I've taken from this so far is that if it's only after 2013 that so-called experts decided, oh, someone can have both autism and ADHD, then F them. Nothing they say can ever be trusted. The same goes all the way down the line to everything and everyone. Thus, the only solution is anarchy. That's where the nonviolent anarchy enters. We call it freedom, call it humanity, call it the right side, the proper side, the order. The proper order. With that being said, I think I can now move on to the Bing Crosby portion of today's video, or yesterday's, the yesterday into today video. Thanks for your patience. Five, four, three, two, one, start. <laughs> Would you like to swing on a star, carry moonbeams home in a jar, and be better off than you are, or would you rather be a mule? Mule is an animal with long, funny ears, kicks up at anything he hears. His back is brawny, but his brain is weak. He's just plain stupid with a stubborn streak. And by the way, if you need to go to school, you may grow up to be a mule. Would you like to swing on a star, carry moonbeams home in a jar, and be better off than you are? Or would you rather be a pig? A pig is an animal with dirt on his face. His shoes are a terrible disgrace. He has no manners when he eats his food. He's fat and lazy and extremely rude. But if you don't care a feather or a fig, you may grow up to be a pig. Would you like to swing on a star, carry moonbeams home in a jar, and be better off than you are? Or would you rather be a fish? A fish won't do anything but swim in a brook. He can't write his name or read a book. To fool the people is his only thought. And though he's slippery, he still gets caught. But then if that sort of life is what you wish, you may grow up to be a fish. A new kind of jumped up slippery fish. Hell, the monkeys aren't in the zoo. Every day you meet quite a few. So you see, it's all up to you. You can be better than you are. You could be swinging on a star.